40 Interview Questions with Concise Responses for Pharmaceutical Production Key Principles in Pharmaceutical Production Why is GMP essential in pharma production? GMP ensures consistent product quality and safety. It reduces risks like contamination. Regulatory agencies strictly enforce GMP compliance. Following GMP builds consumer and regulator trust. It's foundational to pharmaceutical manufacturing. What is the role of quality assurance, QA? QA oversees processes to ensure product quality. It involves monitoring, audits, and handling deviations. QA enforces compliance with all SOPs. This function supports GMP compliance and consistency. It's essential for maintaining product standards. Difference between batch and continuous manufacturing? Batch is produced in specific quantities, while continuous is uninterrupted. Batch may have variability between batches. Continuous is cost-effective and enhances product consistency. It requires robust process controls. Continuous production is gaining popularity in pharma. What do ICH guidelines cover? ICH harmonizes technical standards across regions. It includes quality, safety, and efficacy standards. Following ICH guidelines aids international market access. They are crucial for streamlined regulatory requirements. ICH is essential in global pharma. How does the European Pharmacopeia influence production? It sets drug standards for Europe, ensuring quality. Compliance is mandatory for European market access. Standards cover formulations, ingredients, and testing. It impacts international production and regulatory compliance. Following it is crucial for approval. Understanding production processes and equipment. Steps involved in tablet production? Tablet production includes granulation, drying, compression, and coating. Granulation ensures uniform ingredient distribution. Drying removes moisture to prevent degradation. Compression forms tablets. Coating protects the drug. Each step is monitored for quality. What is the purpose of a fluid bed dryer? It dries powders by suspending them in hot air. This ensures even drying, preventing clumping. Fluid bed dryers are efficient in moisture removal. They're widely used in granulation. It's essential for quality in tablet production. How does an autoclave work? An autoclave sterilizes using steam under pressure. It effectively kills bacteria, spores, and viruses. It's essential in aseptic manufacturing environments. Autoclaving ensures tools and containers are contamination-free. It's fundamental for safe production. Why is lyophilization used? Lyophilization, or freeze-drying, removes water. It's used for temperature-sensitive products like biologics. This method extends shelf life without damaging the drug. Lyophilized products reconstitute easily. It's common in injectable formulations. Role of a granulator in tablet production? Granulators convert powder into granules for uniformity. Granules flow better and ensure accurate dosing. They improve particle binding and reduce segregation. Granulation is vital for efficient tablet compression. It's key in oral solid dosage production. Managing clean room environments effectively. Why are clean rooms essential in production? Clean rooms minimize contamination risks for sterile products. They have controlled air quality, temperature, and humidity. Clean room standards are essential for aseptic production. GMP requires strict clean room maintenance. It ensures safe, high quality products. How do you control contamination in clean rooms? Contamination control involves strict gowning and cleaning protocols. HEPA filters remove airborne particles. Regular monitoring detects any contaminants. Clean room personnel follow specific movement and behavior guidelines. It's crucial for sterile manufacturing. What is HEPA filtration and its importance? HEPA filters capture 99.97% of airborne particles. They're essential in removing contaminants from air. HEPA filters maintain clean room standards for pharma. They ensure an aseptic environment for sensitive products. GMP requires regular HEPA filter checks. Why control humidity and temperature in clean rooms? Humidity and temperature affect product stability. They also prevent microbial growth in sensitive areas. Controlling these factors ensures consistency in production. GMP guidelines specify acceptable ranges. 
It's crucial for both quality and safety. How do you monitor airborne particles? Particle counters measure air quality in real time. Regular sampling ensures clean room standards. Monitoring detects contamination early. Immediate action prevents production halts. This helps maintain GMP compliance. Ensuring compliance with industry regulations. How would you prepare for an FDA inspection? Conduct internal audits to ensure GMP compliance. Ensure all documentation is accurate and up-to-date. Train staff on inspection protocols and expectations. Address any past inspection observations. Be transparent and cooperative with inspectors. What is data integrity in GMP environments? Data integrity ensures data accuracy, completeness, and reliability. It includes secure storage and restricted access. Compliance with Alcoa Plus principles is mandatory. Regulatory bodies audit data integrity regularly. It's critical for trust in quality systems. How do EMA guidelines impact manufacturing? EMA guidelines set standards for product quality and safety in Europe. They require strict adherence to GMP practices. Compliance is needed for European market access. EMA's focus includes data integrity and risk management. Following them builds regulatory trust. Why is validation important in pharma? Validation confirms that processes consistently produce quality products. It involves testing to meet predetermined criteria. Validation ensures equipment and methods perform as expected. It's required by regulatory authorities. It safeguards against defects. Difference between validation and qualification? Qualification tests equipment to ensure it meets standards. Validation tests processes for consistent product quality. Both are critical in GMP compliance. Qualification is often a precursor to validation. Both ensure product safety and effectiveness. Managing quality in pharmaceutical production. How are in-process checks conducted? In-process checks monitor quality during production. They include weight, hardness, and thickness checks. Each parameter ensures batch consistency. Deviations trigger immediate investigation. It's essential for quality control. What is CAPA and its purpose? CAPA stands for Corrective and Preventive Actions. It addresses the root cause of quality issues. CAPA prevents recurrence of noncompliance. It's a key part of continuous improvement in GMP. It strengthens quality systems. How do you handle a production deviation? Document the deviation and conduct an investigation. Identify the root cause and implement corrective action. Notify QA and relevant authorities if needed. Prevent recurrence through training or process changes. Timely response is critical for GMP. How do you determine shelf life? Conduct stability studies under different conditions. Monitor physical, chemical, and microbial changes. Shelf life is set based on degradation data. Packaging impacts stability and is tested too. Data guides expiry date determination. Managing resources in pharmaceutical production. How do you assess raw material quality? Conduct identity, purity, and potency testing. Use pre-qualified suppliers for reliability. Test results are documented for traceability. Any deviation results in supplier notification. Quality assurance verifies material compliance. Importance of supplier qualification in pharma? It ensures materials meet GMP standards. Qualified suppliers reduce risks of contamination. It involves audits and performance evaluations. Reliable suppliers minimize production disruptions. Qualification is a critical part of supply chain management. What considerations apply in raw material storage? Control temperature, humidity, and storage conditions. Separate materials to prevent cross-contamination. Use FIFO, first in, first out, for rotation. Monitor storage area cleanliness and orderliness. Proper storage ensures material quality and compliance. Handling critical material shortages? Identify alternative suppliers and pre-qualify them. Communicate with stakeholders about potential delays. Prioritize production based on availability. Implement risk management for high-priority materials. Ensure business continuity, despite disruptions. Why is serialization important in pharma supply? Serialization tracks each product with a unique ID. It helps prevent counterfeiting and ensures traceability.
Regulatory bodies mandate serialization in many regions. It strengthens the supply chain's integrity. Serialization boosts consumer trust. Improving and troubleshooting production processes. How do you approach troubleshooting equipment issues? First, assess the problem and identify symptoms. Review equipment logs and previous maintenance records. Isolate potential causes to pinpoint the issue. Implement corrective actions and test results. Regularly monitor to prevent recurrence. Describe a process optimization project you led. Analyze production data to identify inefficiencies. Implemented changes that reduced cycle time and increased yield. Trained staff on new procedures for consistency. Monitored results, achieving measurable improvements. Documented changes for future reference. What role does PAT play in process control? PAT, Process Analytical Technology, provides real-time monitoring. It helps maintain consistent product quality. PAT enables immediate adjustments during production. This reduces waste and increases efficiency. It aligns with regulatory guidelines for quality. How would you handle an OS out of specification result? Document the result and halt production if needed. Conduct an investigation to determine the root cause. Retest samples to verify results if appropriate. Implement corrective actions and document the process. Notify QA and regulatory authorities if necessary. How do you implement a change control process? Initiate with a change request form detailing the proposed change. Assess impact on processes, equipment, and documentation. Obtain approvals from relevant departments. Conduct testing or validation as required. Document and communicate the change to all staff. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this content valuable and insightful. Your support means a lot to us. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing, giving it a like, and sharing with others. Stay tuned for more content, and feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments.